Now we have a very special case of a necklace. Now when you're talking about arrangement like the necklace or maybe arrangement of flowers in a garden, this is a case of circular arrangement. So if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now in case of people, who is to the right and who is to the left matters. In case of a necklace, the total number of arrangements would be n minus 1, but that n minus 1 would include clockwise as well as anti-clockwise. But necklaces, if you if you invert a necklace and put it the other way around, it would the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements would mean the same thing, whichever work is arranging. Hence, what happens is the total number of arrangements, since it's a circular arrangement, in a circular arrangement, there are n minus 1 factorial arrangements. But since it's a case of a necklace which is totally symmetrical, the clockwise as well as the anti-clockwise are one and the same. Hence, the total number of arrangements is going to be n minus 1 factorial upon 2 or half n minus 1 factorial. So this is something that has to be arranged in case of a necklace or in case of uh, say a garland where all the things that are arranged are identical, hence the anti-clockwise and clockwise arrangement would amount to one single arrangement. So it's in that case, say for example arrangement for a necklace. So you started this way green, red, yellow, blue, pink. So we have green here, red, yellow, blue, pink and a light blue, a sign. Or this is starting from green and you're moving it this way, in the anti-clockwise way. Or you start from green and move this way. Both mean the same. If this person wears it on this side or the other side, it would mean the same. The necklace could be the same. Hence, the total number of arrangements is going to be n minus 1, that is 6 minus 1 upon 2 factorial. That is 5 factorial by 2 are the number of possibilities you have in this kind of a case. So, let's see how we can apply this. For example, that means n beads have to be arranged in a necklace, then it can be done in half n minus 1 factorial because all the beads are identical. Which could even mix, you could also compare it with how in a row wise arrangement, similar arrangements are divided by p factorial. So it's like n minus, since there are two arrangements which are identical, it's n minus 1 factorial by 2. Say, for example, if 50 different jewels can be set to form necklace, then the number of ways is going to be half n minus 1 factorial. So it's going to be 50 minus 1 factorial, that is 49 factorial by 2. So which is going to be this particular option, 49 factorial by 2. And hence we have this. Similarly, number of ways in which 8 different beads can be strung on a necklace, whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise, both mean the same. So n is 8 here, so the number of arrangements is going to be n minus 1, 8 minus 1, 1 factorial, that is 7 factorial by 2, which is 5040 upon 2, which is 2520. So among these, this is the right answer, and yes, we do have it.